In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to enable XMP profile on your computer or set the memory frequency to the memory you got for your new PC. So let's get into it. So I did this video a while back for DDR4 memory originally, and you guys really found it helpful. And now that DDR5 is an actual thing, I think it's appropriate time to make an updated video. So the first thing we need to do is check our task manager. And the reason why we're doing this is to make sure our memory is at the defaulted speed. Now it's interesting, it's actually 4,800 default speed. Now, keep in mind, the memory kit I'm actually using for my PC is 5,200 megahertz. So we need to fix this. So if you want to set your RAM speed to your what your RAM actually is, what we the first thing to do is right click on the Windows icon, go to the shutdown and sign out and click reset. And the reason why we're doing this is because we're going to spam the delete key on our keyboard. That way we can actually go into the BIOS. So just hit the delete key on your keyboard and you're just going to keep hitting this until your PC loads right into the BIOS. With that though, we are in the BIOS. Now, first thing you gotta keep in mind is that when you're in the BIOS, it, you have two different modes. There's an easy mode and an advanced mode. So this is how it's gonna look like most times around for you. I will go, of course, full screen so you guys can understand what I'm looking at better. So this is the easy mode for the actual BIOS. Now, you can't mess with stuff in here. However, it's better just to go in the advanced mode. You can either click F7 or you can go to the top where it says advanced mode and click on that. And the next thing we want to do is go to the OC settings or overclock settings on the left side. When you're in here, you can do a few different things. First of all, you can scroll down to DRAM settings, and enable extreme memory profile. So you can enable this and if it works for you, you can just use this to have your memory set the right frequency, but sometimes it doesn't work for everyone and it'll cause a black screen. So if that does ever happen, just let your PC reset, it'll throw you back in the BIOS and then you can just disable it to fix it that way. But if it works for you, enable it. Uh, me personally, I don't usually do that. What I'll do is go a little bit further, go down to DRAM frequency. When I'm in here, what I'm gonna do is change this from auto to my memory frequency. So I have a DDR5200 uh, megahertz. So I'm gonna go to DDR5200 megahertz, which is a minimum scroll down here. And you would just do the exact same thing for your RAM kit. So if you have a 6000 megahertz RAM kit for DDR5, uh, you do that. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna click G2 and then what I'm gonna do is exit and save and if everything loads properly into windows then you're good now keep in mind ddr5 is sometimes works and it's unstable it depends because the high the frequency is going to get more hot so if your 6000 megahertz memory doesn't stay at 6000 megahertz you might have to find a sweet spot between like 5600 to 5800 to set the ram speed but if it works just for you, it should just work for you. But you'll know when your PC is like black screens. And if it does black screen, it'll usually throw you back in the BIOS to, to fix your settings or tinker with it. Now that our computer is reset, all we have to do is sign back in. It didn't black screen too. So that is a great sign that our memory most likely got set. So we want to double check that by going into task manager again and making sure it doesn't say 4,800 megahertz. It should say now 5,200 megahertz. So we're gonna go back to performance, go to memory, we can see it now says speed 5200 megahertz which is the rated speed of our memory that we bought which is absolutely fantastic if you guys did enjoy this video or even found it helpful or even interesting at that then you know what to do make sure to smash like button and get subscribed so i'm missing any awesome tech content here because later here we got ourselves a 1600 gaming pc that i'm building for my dad his dream gaming pc so yeah that thing's gonna be a menace so you don't want to miss on that you know what to do i'll see you for now on tech grant out